I ordered a harness uh, similar to the ones that people wear with the GoPro on the, mounted on the chest. I ordered a harness that I could do the same thing with my iPhone. I do all of our filming with iPhones and my editing with iPad. So it's just easier for me to stick with the whole Apple um, setup. Anyway, I saw this thing on Amazon and I thought I'd try it out. It's called an action mount and you can mount other cameras to it. But I picked this out because it's supposed to fit women better and you can use it with your cell phone. Alright, so it's pretty easy to put on. I've already adjusted it to fit me properly. It has suction cups to attach to the screen of the phone. And if you look at it, this looks like a tongue and those look like eyes. Here's a better shot of it right there. I don't know if you can see that, I can't see. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to mount up my other iPhone. Try to get that out of my face and show you what that's like. Okay, so first of all, the screen goes against the suction cups. So that's the old iPhone. Oh, but you're supposed to turn the camera on first. All right, so we have the video camera on. It's not running yet. All right, so the phone is an iPhone um, 6 by the way it's an old one the phone is uh, attached to the suction cups at the screen then it has this strap it has velcro on it and it goes around there straps around there okay and then this goes back up like so and then you tighten the screw like so and this is where it gets a bad review yeah it flops right down now to be honest I knew this ahead of time I knew this was going to be a problem and because this iPhone is got a heavy uh, case on it that makes it even worse as tight as you want to get this screw down here it's still gonna flop open and then it's just gonna strip the screw you keep thinking if you tighten it more it'll stay tighter but what really does it's plastic inside and just strips the threads so I thought if I could get something to support that to here that um, it might be doable. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I found this Velcro strap as I can strap this down and around. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, now I have the Velcro strap. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's around here and it holds the strap that's around here to these straps so that I can bend over and it doesn't flop open. Not the best situation, but I really want to use the iPhone for my camera. It's what I'm used to, it's what I like. Obviously the GoPro is a better situation, but with my current setup with my computer and having to buy software and stuff, I just, I want to work with what I have for right now. So let's uh, give this a test drive around the house. Here we go. Oh, first of all, <laughs> I have to turn on the camera. It was turned on, now it turned off because it timed out. So you just hit the home button, open the camera. 
make sure it's on video, which it is, and then you can use the volume buttons to turn the camera on and off. So I hit the volume button, the video's running. So let's go and see how good it goes. All right, now I'm gonna try to bend over and pick something up and see if the camera picks that up. So I'm bending down. Hi, Coda. I'm not talking to anybody, it's just the camera. Okay. The video's running. So let's go. Let's see how good it goes. Oh, I'm going to be taking a picture of dog's kennel. I have no idea how far I have to bend over to make sure this happens. Well, that's why I'm testing it out now. Try to get that doorknob. Okay, so I'm bend over. I have no idea if this is working. A wet toothbrush. Pretend like it's a find I'm just pulling out of the water. Oh, look, a toothbrush. See, where is the camera? Okay, the camera's down here. So how far away? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna try to bend over. over and pick something up and see if the camera picks that up. So I'm bending down, bending down. down like I'm pulling it out of the water. Okay. Right. I think I need to do it in front of the mirror so I get an idea of where the camera is. Better. All right. Clearly I need more practice. I just have to keep in mind the location of the camera on the phone. Uh, we'll see how it goes when I actually use it. Let me go magnet fishing. It could be comical. More later.